Hi, I'm James the Light Guy, and today's video is sponsored by Carmel Medical Supplies, which is located in Carmel, California. The owner had shipped me this UVC LED sterilizing box to test out before they considered carrying it in their store. Taking a quick peek at the box, it's supposed to sterilize in 180 seconds, so 3 minute sterilization time with 99.9% .9 sterilization rate. It's supposed to produce, well, virtually no ozone. And it has an auto off feature to keep you from hurting yourself with the light. It gives basic ideas of what can be sterilized and how sterilization works and gives us some basic product specs on the back here. But without further ado, let's open it up and take a look at the product itself. This is the 59S. They make a number of UV sterilization products, including uh, different boxes of varying sizes and uh, travel bags. Uh, I believe one of them is called like a mommy bag for baby bottles and such. All right, here are, our, here are our instructions. And on the back, once again, just our specifications. And a warranty card. Here is another document. This has all of its testing certifications. And any product that gives you a copy of the testing certifications with reference to what tests and what the scores were is generally a pretty reputable product but we're going to test it anyways. So let's zoom out a little bit and take a look at this. So inside the bag, we have the sterilization box. On the outside, there's not much. It just has a solid shell all the way around a USB type C port and a decal here once again listing all of the spec specifications of the box and all of the uh, certifications it has there. On the top we have an LED ring and a momentary button for the power. And if we zoom in again, we see that it has a warning tip, or warm tips, rather. The UVC light, uh, LED light turns off instantly once the lid is opened. That is thanks to uh, a gravity sensor. I'm going to grab my microphone real quick, see if you guys can hear that. So that sensor only lets the device know whether the lid is level, meaning that if we open it this way, so long as the lid is facing or the LEDs are facing down, it will remain on. Well, you can see at 
the top here, we have eight UVC LEDs and a semi-translucent ring around the sides that helps us identify when the lights inside are on. We get a power supply in this box, which appears to be made specifically for this UV LED optical technology. This adapter is only for dedicated sterilization products. So that's pretty nice to have a product specifically designated for or dedicated to this box. We also get a silicone mount for the inside so that if you needed to prop up a product to make sure that it got the UV light going all around it, this wouldn't interfere too much with that. And then we have a mirrored surface on the inside. This has a pre-mask film, which we need to remove, but my fingers aren't cooperating. So we'll leave that for a moment while we take a closer look at the LEDs inside. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to plug it in. Now that it's plugged in, if we look at the top, we have our LED ring illuminated and to turn it on or off, in this case it's in the on position, you hold the button for two seconds and that puts it in its off standby mode. Holding the button again turns it on and a quick press of the button activates the LEDs inside. You can see the ring is flashing and there is a beeping sound every few seconds. And if I turn off the studio lights, you can see the blue glow from inside the box. We'll turn that off. Before we open it up, always remember that if you're going to have UVC light anywhere around you, you should wear proper protective equipment so that you don't damage your eyes. All right, first let's try turning it on. We have the dim blue glow shining through and the blinking, but as soon as we open it, it turns off. It turns back on automatically. Oh, dropped it and off again. Once again, we can trick that by just tipping it. There you go. You can see that we do have the blue light there. All right, let's turn this off and let's set up our test. We're going to use the photopolymer resin again. So give me one second. For this test, we're just going to check if it's producing any near UV or beyond uh, shorter wavelength light using a standard 3D printer photopolymer resin. This resin is cured from liquid to solid with UV light. So we'll just pour a little into this clean cap. There we go. Got some sloshing around in there. We'll set it down on our silicone pad and we'll open this up and face it downward and use this to prop it open. We'll ensure that that is down in the path of the light and we'll zoom in on it. And we can see already, although it is still somewhat a liquid, it is starting to gelify. 
after just a few seconds. We'll let this run for probably, probably the full cycle just to see how it runs. So I'll be back with you in just a moment. All right, we're back nearing the end of the cycle. I'm just going to turn it off. And we'll zoom back out. And as you can see, it has cured quite a bit. There's, there is a little bit of liquid where the shadow was cast from the edge and it didn't go all the way through. This is uh, just eight LEDs, uh, and it's supposed to be for surface, uh, surface level sterilization. So uh, seeing that it didn't penetrate that deeply into the resin is understandable. So let's clean up the area and talk about it a little bit more in depth. I was having trouble uh, formatting the SD card for this, so bear with the video of the screen here, but I've centered one of the LED chips as best I can in frame and shine the light on them. As you can see down in the chip itself, we have some pretty detailed uh, gold and solder joints to make this LED capable of producing UVC light. These chips are highly specialized and as such they do have a slightly lower lifespan than other LEDs. Hard to get the focus just right on that but you can see the incredible detail and work that went into making these. These are real UVC LEDs, and I've shown some of the fake LEDs in the past that aren't capable of producing UVC. So it's nice to see a product using real high quality components. So would I recommend purchasing one of these products. I can, without a doubt, 100% recommend the purchase and use of one of these sterilization boxes. I would, with a caveat, recommend that you do run it for the full 190 second, or sorry, 180 second sterilization cycle. And if you're using this support to lift something off the mirrored base to help get the light to hit it from all directions, I might recommend running it once in a downward orientation and then possibly running it a second time inverted just to be doubly sure because these are fairly low power consumption chips. I'd like to give another shout out to Caramel Medical Supplies in Caramel, California. If you happen to live in the area, I would hope that you stop by the store, say hi, tell them that James the Light Guy sent you, and stay tuned for our next video where we're going to do a full head-to-head uh, -head competition of a number of these sterilizers or sterilization methods using the petri dishes and the incubator. So like the video, share, show this to your friends, family, anyone interested in lights or sterilization equipment. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, consider becoming a channel supporter on Patreon, and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'm James the Light Guy.